Hello, uh, I'm, my name is Andrew Gibbons, and I am your creative director for DCU TV this year, which is so goddamn exciting for me. I can't wait for it. Um, I'm going to be starting next year, and hopefully I'm good at it. You never know, it could be awful. This vlog could, 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 could be awful. But... Um, yeah, so I have the weekly vlog this week, which I was so excited for, but then I realised that I have literally the most mundane week of all time to film it, right? Last week I went, which was really cool, I went to London, um, and I went to go see the K-pop group, yes, I know, K-pop group, uh, BTS, and next week I'm at a wedding, so, this week's been like my in-between week. So, I'm going to try and make it as fun as possible. I'm probably going to give you all a big tour of Wexford. Well, I am going to give you a tour of Wexford. I forgot to film an intro. Um, so, this is my intro now. So, I most of the stuff I've done, I've done already. Um, hee hee. Um, but, I have longer hair, usually. You know, that's how you'll realise it. Like, there was no point in me lying and being like, Oh yeah, I'm going to go to Wexford when like my hair is going to be drastically longer in those videos. Um, so that was a lot of fun, had a great time doing that, um, and actually made me kind of like Wexford like Town more, which is weird. We have a food review, ladies and gentlemen, a food review. So, um, in the place I just advertised, uh, Butler and Spoon, you're welcome by the way, um, we got some really nice pancakes there. I got some, uh, I got some Nutella, and my pancakes spread all over, it was a great time. Um, but, in classic Andrew's given fashion, of course I had an embarrassing moment. Uh, I was pouring out my tea, uh, and it was really good tea, like it was great lion's tea. And the waitress was right beside me, chatting away to the customers, and they were sharing a laugh, there was a haha -ha there, and maybe there was a haha -ha at me too, because I spilled my tea everywhere. And it went everywhere, all over the table. Uh, spilled off the table, onto the floor, and... Hmm. I had to clean it all up. Hello friends, you're probably wondering why I'm lying on the ground so seductively, but it's actually because, ahem, a strange car entered my house, and I don't know who it is, so I have closed all the curtains, I'm currently lying on the ground over dramatically, um, to pretend I don't exist, but while I was lying down on the ground, a certain memory struck me, ooh, it's sore lying on the ground. But a certain memory struck me. And I remember that I finished the leaving start today. Holy hell, am I right? Uh, so history is my last exam. And I brought three things into, into the exam. A black hoodie, a pair of sunglasses, a pencil. And of course, my other things, just like pens and other letters. But they were the three main things. Um, Because uh, I had a plan. I had a plan after what I was going to do when I left. So the exam finishes, everyone's bawling, of course, because they didn't think it went well or whatever. But I was going to be the lie at the end of their tunnel. Um, I hand up my exam booklet to the examiner. I'm like, later, pal. And he's like, later, Gibby. There, everyone's gathering at the gore, door. Gore? Door. And then, I just go, lads, I'm opening this door. And I was like, what? Like, I was, like, near the back. But... Everyone trusted on me, so without even a moment of hesitation, everyone splits. Just like just like the waves they were with Moses, everyone splits apart. And I walked through that crowd. An air of tension 
arises. I put on my top. Hood goes over my head. I bust up those sunglasses. And um I kick open that door. Everyone every, all the teachers look at me. I am the apple of everyone's eye at the moment. I get my little pencil, I drop it. And I go later bitches. Keep the pencil. Exactly like the meme. Like it, it was it was a dream scenario. Like they were the last words I ever spoke as a student of CBS. Lectured. And that one's never gonna beat that. So, so no matter how cool you think you are. There's a pit of brawl outside my house. They're really going at it. It's quite terrifying. Oh, they're a standoff. Okay, so at the moment we're heading towards the rest of the takeaway, the premiere. Uh, to get one of Wexford's absolute delicacies that doesn't seem to be available anywhere else. A whistle. Now, some of you may have heard me ramble on and on about whistles, but you've never seen it before. That's what I'm about to show you. Okay, back and I get one of our food review, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Anyway, uh, back and I again. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. So, back out again on our food review, everybody. So, we purchased a Rissle in one of the best takeaways in Ireland, which is the Premier. And um, that's what I'm about to show you what actually a Rissle is, right? So, I'll um, put the camera down a bit. Okay, so it comes in, it comes in beautiful packaging, of course. And, um, and this is what it looks like. So, you have, it's quite windy. So, excuse the, the blistery bag. Um, so you can either get choose. Get it in the sun there. Oh, oh that's sexy. Mmm. Okay. So you can either get them battered or crumped. Now we both decided to go for battered because first of all, it's the more unhealthy op uh, option, and it just tastes better battered, in my opinion. Um, so let's just dig into this. Okay. So I'm just gonna break the middle and show you what the inside is like. Okay, so in the middle there is potato and some herbs and then just a batter around it. So uh, I'm just going to give it a little uh, take of this. Amazing. Every time. If you want to take some of this, come to Wexford because if you don't you are missing out sorely. Hello friends. Um. This is probably going to be my final one, my final video of the vlog. Um, as you can see again, hair is all lovely and cut. Um, it's a bit messy actually. <sighs> yeah, that'll do. But uh, this will be my final one, probably of the vlog. Um, and I just want to say that being a part of MPS in first year has probably been the best thing I could have ever done. Like, first year has been the best year of my life, and I'm pissed with such a huge part of that. And to be able to be a part of the subcommittee next year, I feel such, like, it's a big honour, and um, it's such a lovely opportunity to be able to get. And so, I can't wait to do it. Um, everyone's even in MPS this year. I'm going to miss you so much. And just everyone's even this year. I'm going off to new and wonderful things in the rest of your life. Um, I'm going to miss you so much, but you are such amazing people, and you're going to do amazing in anything you do. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know why I'm being like this. Maybe it's because the end of my vlog and I'm being sappy. Um, but, I had such an amazing time doing this vlog. And, it's been a while since I've done anything like this, uh, when MPS with Summer and all everything. I'll just kind of maybe remind how much I love MPS, and how excited I am to get back and doing stuff next year. Um, even though I had quite a mundane wig for the vlog. Sorry, a sound happened and I got scared. Um, even though I had quite uh, a mundane wig for the vlog, I had so much fun doing it and I loved doing it. And um, I can't wait to be creative director next year. It's something that I'm so looking forward to, unbelievably. And I hope I do MPS Broad.
Pred, Pred, Proud. There's the word I was looking for. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, it's been such a fun week for me. And I hope it was just as fun watching it as it was for me making it. So, from the bottom of my heart, MPS, everyone I know, all my friends, you've been some of the most amazing people to me. And I hope you have had just as good a year as me. I mean, nothing from the bottom of my heart. So, and that's it from me. Bye, vlog.